Have you hit a plateau in your overhead press? What if I told you it was because you lacked overhead mobility? What's going on all you beautiful bitches? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler and I empower people to reach their physical capabilities. Today, I wanna to be helping you get into a better overhead position. You see, I think a lot of people wonder why they get a plateau in their overhead press. And I don't think it's because they're lacking strength. I don't think it's because you know, they need to try the new technique to get stronger. I think it's because they lack overhead mobility. Think about it. How often do we put our hands in this position other than when we overhead press? Not that often. But because of all the muscles and the way they move, we are designed to be able to put our hands above our head like so. So if you don't mobilize the tissues of your shoulder, your scapula in that position, they may never be able to get there in the first place. And when you're lifting with a lack of mobility, I want you to think about this for a second. You can't get into a good position up here where your muscle is fully contracted. So then how can you ever maximize all of the potential that lies within the muscle? This is why I'm so huge on mobility because when we don't adapt our tissues to certain positions, they can't access the full strength and power that lies within the muscle. So I have two of my favorite exercises today to help you mobilize those tissues, your shoulders, your scapula in that overhead position. The first one you just saw me doing with a band here. What you're gonna do is you wanna take a heavy band and you wanna attach it to something that's pretty stable. Then you wanna take the band and you wanna loop your hand through it like so. Then you're gonna grab the band and externally rotate your wrist. Now, I set it low enough that I usually have to squat myself up. So I sit down, get underneath of it, get my shoulder in a nice position, position here, and then I squat myself up and try to get my elbow pretty parallel. Parallel might be the wrong word. I think it's the right word, uh, with my body. So it's one straight line here, or as close straight as possible. Well, we got, we got stuck there. Okay, so we're getting that straight line. Now you can do two things here. Stand in this position, feet together. <sighs> Extend the elbow upward. You're gonna feel a wicked stretch in your triceps as well. So what we're doing here is we're not just mobilizing the tissues of the shoulder overhead. We're getting a mean stretch in the lats here, which help us elevate the arm, the shoulder, the humerus overhead. And then we're getting a nice stretch in the triceps by elevating the elbow up and bringing the rest of the arm down and getting a stretch on the long head of the triceps. When you're stuck in a seated position all day, like this on your computer or text on your phone, your arms are really close together. And I think the thing that people miss a lot of times, the triceps do influence shoulder movement because they cross the back side of the shoulder joint. So if you don't address the tissues in your shoulder or your triceps as well, you're missing out on a lot here. So again, hand through, grab the band, externally rotate, squat up. You're gonna try to keep a nice straight line if you can, slight core engagement, so pull that belly button back to keep the rib cage stacked down. You don't want the rib cage to flare up because then you're, over, you're overexerting your lower back muscles. If you wanna take it a step further, you can bring the opposite foot out in front of you and squeeze that ass. That's why daily butt stuff is glorious because your ass is always involved. You're gonna squeeze that ass, keep the rib cage down. We're gonna take some deep breaths into this. Try to allow the muscles to relax into this position. Feel the muscles adapt, feel the tissues adapt. You wanna go for anywhere from, I would say at a good starting spot, 30 seconds to two minutes. Studies have shown that two minutes is the upward threshold of where our tissues begin to adapt. And so you wanna to try to work your way up to that. So you just kind of hunt around here, feel it out, move it back and forth a little bit, feel where you feel the stretch at. If you can, pull the triceps back a little bit more to get more of a stretch here, get more of a stretch in the lats. This is a really good way to mobilize for an overhead pressing type of day. This is also really good for front rack positioning. So if you're doing a front squat and you have the bar out in front of you, another good way to mobilize for that. Next up, we're gonna do the kneeling lat stretch that does the same thing. And both of these exercises work on thoracic extension. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be doing the kneeling lat stretch. For this, you'll need a broom, a mop, a a uh, tripod for your phone. I have a PVC pipe, it's my personal preference. PVC pipes are really awesome to have laying around for all kinds of mobility work. So I keep one laying around for that. You can literally use anything that is in the shape of a stick like this, you could literally use a stick. And then I'm using my bench, but you could use a couch, you could use your child, you could use your mother, you could use your grandfather, just make sure they're in a quadruped position. And then you're gonna do the same thing I'm doing but right on their fucking back. Okay, so. For this one, you're going to bring your knees right underneath your hips and you're going to externally rotate your hands with whatever you're using here. 
From here, you just want to sink your hips back, and you can lay your toes flat if you want. I like to tuck mine to keep some engagement into the hips. And you want to try to tuck your head in between this window here that you've created with your shoulders. From here, you want to take a deep breath in. Drive those elbows down into the bench, and then breathe out and let go of the elbow drive. And you should feel your lats stretch out again. They're the muscles right down underneath your armpit. Again, big breath in. Breathe out and relax. Let go of the elbow drive. You want to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together here to really work your spine into extension. Again, thoracic extension is when you take the upper part of your back, so it stems from the middle of your back. If you can reach on your back here, you'll feel an, like a notch in your spine. That's where your lumbar vertebrae meet your thoracic vertebrae. From here to the base of your neck is your upper back. So turn, show you guys. That is your upper back, that is your thoracic spine. And what you wanna work on here, what, we're, what we are working on here is thoracic extension. So a lot of people get in this rounded position from being sit, uh, seated a lot throughout the day, from texting a lot. I know I deal with this a lot of the time. And you wanna work on extension through the thoracic spine. So you can see my lower back isn't rounding here. It's just I'm extending upward through my mid to upper back. And that's what we're working on with these. So for this one, I usually like to do two sets of 10 deep breaths. I don't do seconds with this one. I like to work on deep breaths because of the way the lats attach to the body and the way the diaphragm is placed. If you take a deep breath in, you should feel those suckers relax. And those muscles, your lats are huge. They have a lot of influence over overhead mobility. Um, you don't have to do these as a warm up. You can do these on just like your shoulder mobility day or something to get yourself ready for your shoulder day the next day. I would also like to emphasize that if you do not have a PVC pipe, if you do not have, like if you wanna do this at the gym and you don't have a pipe, you don't have a broom, a mop, whatever the case may be, you can do the same exact exercise within a prayer position. So like you're praying to God. So again, you're just gonna pull your knees back, sink the hips back, big breath in, drive the elbows down. Breathe out and relax. This is really good because I'm about to go ahead and push workout after this. I am pumped. And that, my friends, wraps up today's video on overhead shoulder mobility. I truly believe that the reason people hit strength plateaus is because they lack mobility and don't realize what happens to the body when we lack mobility. Um, because our joints are stacked with mobility joints, stacked on stability joints, and so forth, so far up the kinetic chain, um, when we lack mobility, a stability joint will compensate. And when we lack stability, a mobility joint will compensate. So with that being said, you wanna make sure you're working your stability at your shoulders as well. So working on that scapula to stabilize the shoulder overhead. Guys, it is my goal with any of these videos to help empower you to reach your physical capabilities. And if you guys took anything in this video, please leave a like and a comment and share this with somebody who needs to work on their overhead mobility. and. If you're still hitting a plateau with your overhead press, there's one other thing it could be. And like I said, it could be that overhead shoulder stability, which means we gotta work the scapula or the muscles that control it. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, drop a comment down below and I'll cover it the next video. See you guys next time. Oh, and before I go, I currently have three spots available for online coaching. If you wanna take your physical fitness and health to the next level, go to the link in the description down below. It'll take you to my website where there's a two minute survey that will answer a couple questions for me so that I can help figure out what will work best for you. And then I'll be in contact with you so that we can get started reaching all of your health and fitness goals.